Okay guys, welcome back, and here we are in Mount Moon. Just to fill you in on what I've done, I um, finally found the needle I was looking for. It was a girl, I wanted a boy, because the boy lives one type of girl, just knows. Learn scratch, it's a bit annoying, but oh well. And um, I replaced Beedrill Mun with Nidra. <laughs> this is I've done. This is actually the third time now I've done this episode because there were too many pauses in the last episode and it really messed it up and it froze and everything. It was terrible. And I'm back now anyway. And I found out that my rat attack for some reason knows water gun and I can't remember ever learning it. Um, if you guys find out how it learnt it, or where it came from, or what episode it's from, please drop a comment, because I haven't got a clue. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping that Charmander's going to evolve this um, episode, so let's do it. We're going to face our first rocket of the um, game, so here he is. We you team rocket? Our opponent gangsters. <laughs> oh, you tank. And he's got a whip as well. But instead of using his whip to beat me up, he's going to use his Pokemon Sandshrew, which I'll happily destroy. Instead of using my Nidoran, I'm going to use my Charmander. So yeah. Uh, I was going to say something, but I can't remember what I was... Uh, I'm really tired at the moment, guys, so the commentary's getting duller and duller. Have a drink of coffee while I'm here. Oh yeah, and the thing I'm going to start doing from now on is I will speed up any war battles, but I'm not going to play through the um, trainer battles normally. So for Team Rocket, Gym Leader, stuff like that, I'll play normally. Maybe Legendaries I'll play normally as well, because you might want to see more carefully what I do to Legendaries, because I don't know. But yeah, for war battles, I'm just going to speed it up with the space bar. And for some reason, I can't hear any music from my Pokemon game. Which is a bit annoying because it kind of makes me feel like I'm doing a better job for some reason. I don't know. It just does. It's confusing, but I'm weird. Oh, and another Zubat. The most annoying Pokemon in this um, part of the game. Just because it spams Supersonic. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Another thing I've been doing, just for you guys, is do, been doing a bit of research into um, this whole, how other people might do their Let's Plays and listen to some of their commentary. And I think that what I've learned is mine, it's, just, it's completely boring compared to everybody else's. They're like really random and spontaneous, but I'm quite dull, even now, compared to my first time I ran through this episode, it was really good, but now it's just really dull again. I was quite hyper earlier and it's gone now and I'm on a low. But yeah, hopefully in the next episode after this I'll be hyper again. I'll be able to spontaneously give you material and it'll be epic. It'll, I hope, I promise you the next episode is going to be epic even if I have to plan it through a few times. So yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, Paris. I'm going to try and capture this one, guys. Welcome back, audience. I haven't gone anywhere, I just felt like saying that. Practice my next intro. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, Metapod. Oh, no. Fuck me. Okay, so not only have I lost, but neither have <laughs> I've also failed to capture the Paris. And here we go again. I'm going to quickly use that HP up, just in case you didn't see that was a HP up. I'm going to use that on my um, Charmander. Don't even know if that had any effect on him, I hope it did. I really hope I did. <sighs> okay. Continue now. Uh, we're gonna go. Here you go. Another battle that I can hopefully do something successful with. He did say don't sneak up at me, and I missed that again. Oh, uh, I'm I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. This is a terrible episode. 
just so tired, I don't even know why I started it. Okay, as soon as Charmander reaches level 16, I'll withdraw him. Which he hasn't, so this is... Okay, Voltorb, so that was the first Magnemite Voltorb that we've seen in this game. It's quite interesting that we found a nerd that know, has those Pokemon in this um, cave. I think uh, it's quite an interesting battle compared to the others that I'm going to face, since the rest of them, the majority of the next battles, will just be Geodude. And loads of common Pokemon, it's quite dull and boring. The whole, this whole game could be quite dull and boring, I don't know why I did it. There you go, Charmander, this level 16. <laughs> and now we get to see... Super Nerd, my Pokemon won't do. Well, they won't do the job of beating me, that's for sure. So yeah, this is what the evolution on the first gen games look like. Before I look at that. Uh. Can you just imagine if that actually happened in the anime? It just started. You'd think there was something wrong with your Pokemon. They just start vanishing and reappearing, and loads of jittery lines. It'd be hilarious, I think. And speed this up. Oh, look at this perfectly placed Pokeball! <laughs> it's not a Pokeball at all, it's a rare candy. And for some reason, somebody thought they didn't need it and just dropped it on the floor. Oh, how lucky am I that some people are so naive not to know what a rare candy does. For those of you that are naive and don't know what a rare candy does, it levels up your Pokemon once. Oh, there you go. And this is an escape route. Oh, another unuseful item that I'll never use again. It's not like it can get me out of any really annoying predicament. Like being trapped in a cave like the one we're in. No, we don't need this. Let's just throw it away. It's weighing us down and we need to get away from these Zubat. Zubat? Zubat. I am sorry for that. And Pidgey, you are going to use Gust and destroy this Caterpie. Caterpie, you are going down like a boss. Destroy a Caterpie, destroy a Metapod, destroy everything like a boss. I am the unstoppable. I just hope this thing doesn't know. Um, Okay, so just in case, just speed this up because it does no hard and it might take a bit longer than. There you go. That's done. And Caterpie again. If you're lucky, guys, you may be able to see Pidgey evolve this this episode. Well, no, I'm not sure if he will, but he might. He might. We got we got another minute or so. <coughs> you never know. Oh, just defeated bug catcher. Nah, Pidgey's not evolving. Nah, guys, you're not gonna see Pidgey evolve this game. This run. Let's take on this girl. She has an oddish and a bounce brown. Just gonna ruin it for you because you really. You'll find out eventually. I'm really not reading what these guys are saying. I probably should. Oh well, maybe next episode. I shall destroy you, Oddish. 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 Oddish, Oddish. <sighs> I, have, I may do the best Oddish impression ever. You guys are clearly jealous of that Oddish impression. You want to do one of those oddishes yourself, but you just can't muster it, because I am so good at oddish impressions. 
Yeah, we're just gonna switch now to oh, my weakest Pokemon, which is Metapod. Let's speed this up because Metapod is really, really weak. This isn't gonna work, is it? No, 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 it's not. Swift draw Metapod quickly. And use tackle I probably should have used. Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, let's just destroy it now because I'm really annoyed that it's gonna have to down two of my Pokemon. And I might make a third yet. Nah. Chandelier's too big a boss for it. Oh yeah, Metapod's level 9. Okay guys, we're going to leave it there. What she say? How do you get out of here? Uh, well, when we pick up next time, you'll get hopefully get a better episode because I won't be so tired. See you next